Hello and welcome to Mexico News Network's Breaking News. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Elisa Carballo, and we have excellent information for you coming right ahead. Mexico News Network is your number one source for reliable information on business and investments in the Americas, stock markets and bonds, as well as corporate information about Mexico. So why not browse through our website on www.mexiconewsnetwork.com, our digital content platform. Now let's begin with today's main headline stories. The cheese brand Philadelphia seeks to increase its presence in Mexico, in which currently has a share of over 80% in the sector. Philadelphia belongs to the firm Mondelez, which also owns brands such as Oreo, Ritz, Trident and Clorets, and also seeks to increase its presence through food service chains in the country. Guillermo Céspedes, spokesman for the brand in the country, said next year the brand will have news on innovation. Many people are unaware of the various distribution points because they also have presence in food service, which actually reaches various outlets such as restaurants and hotels. Philadelphia factory in Mexico is located in Ecatepec, state of Mexico, and the executive said that they plan to strengthen their presence in both modern and traditional channels and expect to increase their participation in alliances with restaurant chains and those dedicated to food. Participation in alliances with restaurant chains and those dedicated to food. Currently, the company has a share of less than 50% in food service, which is expected to increase. And it's also important to mention that it has alliances with Grandma's Mill Bakery Company and Pastes Kikos chain. Guillermo Céspedes said that the company will continue to innovate in flavors and presentations and conduct more launches in supermarkets, convenient units and corner grocery stores where they plan to market two new products next year. In other news, some time ago, the holder of Sagarpa, the Ministry of Agricultural and Rural Development, José Calzada, signed a memorandum with China to strengthen trade between the two countries. Jalisco was chosen as the venue for the signing of this agreement, as it is one of the largest producers of corn, meat products, eggs, agave, and it annually produces 46,000 berries and 7,599 tons of cane. Jose Calzada said that the signing of this document is a very important event for bilateral cooperation, since although there is already a good level ex of export, it's an area that seeks to expand and improve. The holder of Sagarpa said that among the benefits that come with this treaty is that Mexico can now export more and better, meeting all the standards required by China for the benefit of the people. The value of the potential exchange between the two countries is less than $800 million. However, he's convinced that in the very short term, with the instruments they are signing and some others who will sign with the Ministry of Health, they will be able to import and export more products between the two nations. Han Changfu, Minister of Agriculture of the People's Republic of China, said that with this formal approach to Mexico, they will be able to have a better target of investment, trade and even personal exchange. China currently produces 600 million tons of grain and cereals, 80 tons of meat and 60 tons of cotton, among other products, and both China as well as Mexico are very strategic partners of friendly development countries, as well as large countries of agriculture, which is why this bilateral cooperation will benefit producers, entrepreneurs and consumers in both countries. Moving along to more news, Mexico is still trying to reach a reasonable agreement to include itself among the Trans-Pacific Strategic Economic Partnership, the TPP, signatory countries. But to do so, it actually hopes to ensure a stipulation on the treaty, ensuring that 50% of cars will be produced by signatory states with a close percentage for the car parts. TPP discussions so far include 12 countries, which are non-signatories Australia, Canada, United States, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, Peru and Vietnam, as well as Brunei, Chile, Singapore and New Zealand, who actually signed the original agreement in the year 2006. What Mexico is trying to achieve is to ensure terms are similar to those laid out in the current North American Free Trade Agreement, in which 62.5% of produced content must come directly from member countries, which in this case are Canada, the US and Mexico. 
Now, having been unable to establish a rule of origin with Mexico, the treaty failed to collect signatures during discussions, which actually took place in late July in Hawaii. Japan's position is an obstacle to Mexico signing as most Japanese auto parts and automotive products come from countries that are not and would not be signatory to the TPP. So far, the Japanese have proposed a 30% rule. However, Eduardo Solís, the president of the Mexican Automakers Association, has insisted that the regional content of vehicles, engines and transmissions must be at least 50% in order to ensure that countries in the TPP will be the main beneficiaries. TPP negotiations cover regions from Japan to Chile and, if it's achieved, it would include 40% of the global economy. In other news, have you ever considered that if a person sleeps on average every single night eight hours over a lifetime, that person would have spent a third of their life sleeping? And if that time is usually spent on a bed, so the mattress where you sleep should really matter, don't you think, as it is partly responsible for providing a good night's rest. By taking all of this into account, a group of entrepreneurs decided to create the ultimate mattress, Luna. The Mexican startup company Luna, founded by a team of entrepreneurs which are Carlos Salinas, William Castan, Guillermo Villegas and Lauren Mayer, saw an opening in the mattress industry in Mexico where clients require a better shopping experience and high quality products at fair prices. The team was actually able to identify several situations that affect the mattress industry in Mexico. There are loads of options, brands and prices which becomes a confusing and very overwhelming task for the client when it comes to buying or changing or even choosing a mattress. Luna is a very different kind of mattress with unique features, a special way of packaging and it is ensured to provide you a great night's sleep. And just in case you don't like it, they will refund your money and donate that mattress to one of their authorized shelters. A very interesting part of Luna is the way it is sent to the client's home. As soon as the mattress comes out of the production line, it's compressed and rolled in to fit into a box. Now this is done with special machinery to guarantee the quality of the mattress. The company has only been in business ever since October 2015 and it's already heading to a brilliant future because of what they offer is different, innovative, simple to buy, simple to unpack, comfortable and it even guarantees that absolutely everyone will like it and if not, they will refund your money and let someone in a shelter enjoy it. Now moving along to Mexico's economic indicators, Mexican jobless rate decreased to 4.5% in September of 2015 from a staggering 4.68% in August, just below market expectations. Only a year earlier, unemployment was higher at 5.08%. The jobless rate for women actually decreased by 0.4% to 4.6% and for men it fell to 4.4% from a 5.2%. 5 the labor force participation rate went down to 59.5% in September from a 60.3% back in August. 95.5% were working up from 95.3% in August, which is the same as in July, while 8.5% said that could work more hours, which represents 8.5% in August. Now in Mexico, the unemployment rate measures the number of people actively working for a job as a percentage for the labor force. Back in the year 2009, the unemployment rate jumped to nearly 6%, reaching an all-time high of 5.93% in May of 2009. However, it has been slowly since then, staying below 5% since October last year, but above the 3.72% average of 2007. Unemployment rate in Mexico averaged 3.81% from 1994 until 2015, reaching an all-time high of 5.93% in May of 2009 and a record low of 2.22% in March of 1997. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. Remember, you're watching Breaking News from Mexico News Network, your number one source for reliable and positive information about Mexico business investments, bonds, and share markets in the nation. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to browse through our website, www.mexiconewsnetwork.com, and we'll see you next time.